Ya hocam diyor, hocamız bu şey daha önce masonluğu eleştiriyordu. Şimdi gidip mason olduğu suçturacak. Bir türlü bu işi kavrayamıyoruz. Çocuklar diyor ki ya anlattık anlattık on kere anlattık. Ali says, our master was criticizing Freemasonry, but now he turned out to be a Mason himself. You have to think like this. The Prophet Abraham goes to Nimrud. Who is Nimrud at that time? He's the Dejjal of his time. And Nimrud is also a Freemason of his time. It is apparent that that is a Freemasonic lodge. Because we can see that there are emblems there. The Prophet Abraham is teaching Nimrud, is just com communicating religion to Nimrud. And the Prophet Moses, he grew up in a Freemasonic lodge. And he was raised, he was brought up according to Freemasonic rituals. This is how he received this Freemasonic education. And he remained there in a Freemasonic lodge because the Pharaoh, by means of all those emblems, symbols, we understand that he was in a Freemasonic lodge. And the Prophet Moses communicated, communicated Islam to him. That is why it is important to be a part of Freemasonry, because Freemasons are open to all ideas. In the past, the Darwinists had control over Freemasonic lodges, but right now, we are communicating religion through Freemasonic lodges. We can see that mainly the French Masonic lodges, the Italian and American Masonic lodges, they are all turning out to turn towards God. They have become faithful and devout believers in God. And there were no Quran in the Freemasonic lodges. Right now we see that there is Quran in the lodges. And they are performing prayers also when they come to Istanbul, for instance, to visit us. Just like communicating religion to the Pharaoh, we know that the Freemasons, they should be also communicated religion. We are criticizing still the Darwinist Freemasons and also the atheist Freemasons who pay service to irreligion. When they have no, no faith, no eagerness, no activity, we are criticizing those people really. But we can see that very recently in this meeting, they were so ambitious, they were so energetic and dynamic, they were clapping all together. They, were, they, they had so much love for Islam. And just to show that they had this affinity, this cordiality to Islam, one of them, one of the 33rd degree Grand Masters, he said, Mashallah. So how could you not say, this person is bad, this person is religious, this person is atheist, we should not communicate religion to them. That is not the case. There are atheist youth, for instance, and we are telling the facts of religion. We are teaching them with the truths of religion. Criticizing is really the good way to give good advice. It's really so important. We teach them with the truths. We communicate true religion with them. And we are obligated to, to convey religion to them. This is our obligation as a believer. They are coming here, they are performing prayers, and even a priest here who is a Christian, he said, I turned out to be a Muslim, but I don't want my family to lear learn about this. He was a 33rd degree Freemason, and he said that he was a Muslim, but he did not want his family to be informed of this. I'm against the irreligious movements in Freemasonry. Mason olduğunda özgür düşünüyor. Hür mason zaten adı üstünde. Hür düşünen insan. Evet. Bu güzel. When a person is a Freemason, he has free thinking. This is nice that a person is a free thinker. He has a free opinion. He's open to all ideas. You may communicate to him with all ideas. That is really good to have a free thinking because everyone can explain their ideas and in a Freemasonic lodge you may just describe your ideas, your thoughts and also the leading personalities, professors, scientists, industrialists, 
people from all countries who make research and reads, you may reach those people in Freemasonic lodges. So that is really a great way to communicate religion. We are criticizing politicians also. We are criticizing journalists. What is most important is any crime is committed by people or any person should be held liable for his own account, for his own mistakes. So we cannot make any generalizations for the Freemasonry entirely. And in the Quran, we learned that the Prophet Suleiman, the Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, he was just using even the Satans in the way of religion. And the Prophet was using the Satans in the way of God, in the way of religion. He's not keeping distant to them, he's talking to them, he's taking them under control, and he's making even the Satans in service of religion. So if a Muslim can do this for even the Satans, why should not why should not Muslims, why should not believers turn Freemasonry in an institution as an institution to to be benevolent to Islam?